Now, there are many ways to actually simplify a complex rational expression. I think most people get scared with this problem because they see a fraction, another fraction, on top of all this other fraction, so it seems overwhelming. Pay attention to your numerators and then pay attention to your denominators. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this by a to the third power and a to the third power. This will then allow me to multiply this by 2 and this by 2. The numerators, the entire numerator, will now have the same denominator, 4 a to the fourth power and 4 a to the fourth power. You can come down to your denominators and do the same thing. If I multiply this by 3 and this by 3, I would now have 21a squared. The only way to match that is to multiply this by a and to multiply this by a. At that point, what you're going to end up having is you're going to have 10 on top of 4a to the 4th power minus a to the 3rd on top of a to the 4th power. This allows you to just have one fraction, which is 10 minus a to the 3rd power on top of 4 a to the fourth. Your denominator is then going to be 6 over 21 a to the second power plus 5a 21a to the second power which now gives you 6 plus 5a all over, excuse me that was a 21 over there, 21a to the second power. Now this is one single fraction on top of another single fraction. This is much easier to deal with. There are several ways to uh, work with it. One, you could just rewrite it such as it would say 10 minus a to the third power on top of 4a to the fourth and then what you could do is just write divide 6 plus 5a over 21a squared because fraction bars are a sense of division so it's okay to write it this way. We understand this to be 10 minus a to the third power on top of 4a to the fourth power multiplied by the reciprocal. And this is how we divide fractions. 6 plus 5a. What happens now is that these get to be simplified. And so you can't factor out here, you can't factor out here. This becomes since there are four a times a times a times a four times, we'll cross this out, there will only be two of them left over. This one will be completely gone. And so the most appropriate answer for this would be 21 times 10 minus a to the third power, sorry, all on top of 4a squared times the quantity 6 plus 5a. Now, some professors actually get a little picky when it comes to problems like this. So my advice is rewrite this in descending order and factor out a negative. Because if you factor out a negative, this will make this negative 10, this will make this positive a to the third power. And so when you write it, it just looks cleaner this way. This doesn't have to have anything factored out because they're both positive terms. So you have 4a to the squared power and then you'd have 5a plus 6. This would be the simplified answer. 